I'm Tom Anderson and I'm a candidate for Ward 2 City Council position in the City of Salem. I'm coming to you today without a teleprompter. When I first moved to Salem eight years ago, I immediately joined the SCAN Neighborhood Group, which is the neighborhood groups surrounding and south of Bush's Pasture Park. I quickly assumed leadership positions in SCAN, and over the past eight years, I have had four years as Chairman of the Land Use and Transportation Committee, two years as Vice President, and two years as President. And uh, in that capacity, I've had a lot of chance to provide neighborhood leadership in various areas. One of those was when the uh, Salem Hospital bought the School for the Blind property, which is located on Mission Street in the SCAN neighborhood. Uh, there was a lot of concern about it in the neighborhood, and we had many, many spirited meetings with people on one side saying, it's the hospital's property, they can do what they want, to people on the far end of the spectrum saying, let's firebomb the hospital. I was able to bring all those disparate groups together to reach a consensus of six different points that we wanted to see in any development in that property. We then approached the hospital as good neighbors and had many, many meetings with them. And as a result of that, the hospital has adopted five of our six points in its final development plan for that property. Because of this and other ways that I've dealt with the city, uh, a number of uh, progressive Democrats in the community approached me some time ago and asked me if I would be willing to run for city council. After some discussion and deliberation, I decided I would. So I'm running. Uh, and here's my view of, from my interactions with the city hall is how things seem to work in the city of Salem at this point. Uh, the city council decides policies and rules and regulations up here and then spends a lot, lot of time trying to convince those of us down here that these were good ideas. And this split between the citizens and the council has led to a number of poor decisions. For example, the third bridge situation, the civic center situation, and the decision, which fortunately was uh, rescinded, to allow uh, a big uh, apartment complex to be built right across from the Salem Carousel. Uh, in my view, we need leadership from the neighborhood level up, not from the top down, and I'm the person who can provide that leadership. I have several issues that concern me and uh, which I'm running on my platform. The first one is we need transparency in government. Uh, the city and all its meetings needs to follow the spirit of the Oregon Open Meeting Law, not just the letter. The best democracy uh, and the best decisions are made when all uh, deliberations are public, uh, both in terms of who's there and in terms of the discussion being in a public setting, not behind some closed doors. The uh, second thing I'm concerned about is the fiscal shortfall facing the city in the coming years. Uh, I think uh, it is politically expedient and short-sighted to ignore this and wait till it hits us in the face. I think we need to look at critically all aspects of the budget of the city, including the police and fire department budgets. For example, we might well be able to consolidate services with Salem and Kaiser uh, and the fire department area, which would save us a lot of money. Um, I also think we need to explore new sources of revenue that are equitable and fair to everyone. Finally, my third platform is I believe we need a sustainability commission in the city of Salem, which will advise the city council on all decisions with an eye toward uh, building better, not bigger, and an eye toward sustaining Salem for future generations as we move forward together. I'm running a broad citizens-based campaign. I, the vast majority of my contributions are uh, less than $100. Over 90% are from individuals. Uh, I have uh, not hired any political consultants. I think my eight years on the ground of leadership in the neighborhood gives me uh, enough information to approach the voters as to how uh, they should be voting in this election. Uh, I've accepted no money from um, PACs that are business or commercial oriented because I think we need to serve the citizens of the city of Salem uh, in the broadest spectrum possible. I ask you for your vote for me and the May 20th election for City Council Ward 2. I'm Tom Anderson. Thank you.